Dude, how about the hand speed on this guy? Certainly good fighters feel like they can beat speed with timing and precision, but it's hard to get a beat on this guy. And with the punches and bunches and the combinations which keep on coming, a lot of guys are gonna succumb to that accumulation of punches. He's got the power to go with the speed. This guy, a five-tool player on the feet, but the hand speed certainly is what jumps off the film. This guy has outstanding defense, and having that type of skill, knowing that you can protect yourself and yet still land devastating blows of your own, it is a distinct advantage. Is it good to see a striker of this caliber make the walk to the UFC octagon tonight? Really decorated on the feet, and no surprise, he's definitely interested, Joe, in keeping this fight standing. We'll see if he can put on a striking clinic tonight. Takedown defense will be a weapon of use if he can keep the fight upright. Scary for the opposition tonight. This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch inside the octagon. He closes the distance well, and he's always in a position to attack and defend. event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. It's a juicy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 228 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, Ireland! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record on one win, two losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Gokan, the Rebel Saki! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. Right, I'm very excited. Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Oh, a lot of blood coming out of that cheek area now, Joe. That's again the experience. Oh. Oh, he tags him to the left. He's hanging on here, but he is in big, big trouble. Oh, very nice. And he's looking for that left. Nice leg kick. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. That one hurt. How about that chin? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Faints with the kick. Yeah. Now he touches him with the left. Nice. Nice. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. There was a nice exchange. Big 
big kick to the body land. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Oh, what a leg kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Beautiful right leg kick there. Just over two minutes, round one. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. He got tagged there. Slips the punch. Nice. And now he's got that tie clinch. That knee might have landed there. Good body punch there. And he lands a knee. And there comes the separation now. Nice straight right. And there he swung with the haymaker. 45 seconds remain in the round. He's down! Thirty seconds now to go in round one. That strike will count. Oh man, look at him now. Final seconds here. Clean punch. Horn sounds for the end of round one. And here's a nice kick to the body that lands. And here's another kick to the body. And here's one more perfectly placed kick to the body. Really excellent striking being displayed in that round. So what did you do? Punch him in the face. The beautiful Brittany Palmer with us. Starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Check that one. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Well, the body was wide open. His Man, he's hurt to the body. Well, the offense has been there. He is. Oh! This could be it. He's hurt again. Oh, he might be out. Great exchanges. Plants a nice one, too. Nice leg kick. Oh, slips the punch there, Joe. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, tags him with that money left again. There's a body shot. There's a solid body shot. There's a nice inside leg kick. That bruise on his outer thigh is really starting to swell up bad. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Just misses with the straight right. Caught him with a punch. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. How about that chin? Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Big left hand. 
45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, and he goes up top of the kick. 30 seconds to go. Back to the left hand now, but unable to connect, Joe. All right, that's the end of round number two. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. The OG Ariane Celeste in the building with us tonight. Third round underway. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Oh, he just continues to land with a high volume of strikes here. Not unlike the previous round, Joe, and at least if his body language is any indication, he is not slowing down whatsoever. that hook. Just misses there with the left. Oh, big kick! Now a right hand. They are trading strikes here. This is an incredible exchange. Oh! Visibly limping here. <laughs> Quick uppercut. And speed, man. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Yep. And he connects there. Oh, leg kick is good. He's doing a great job of being unpredictable and mixing things up here. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Tax him. Yeah, he's got nice hands that leg kick. Very nice. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Tries to pass, but can't. Working on a guillotine. He's got it here. I believe he's in all kinds of trouble now. And this might just... Oh, my oh, God! He got in the choke, refused to tap, and went night-night. Yeah, that's high-level jujitsu there, and I know going into this fight, he felt like he was going to have to be near perfect with his grappling and his transitions to force a tap, and he did one better here tonight. He forced the nap, so great technique to get the finish, and ultimately, he is your winner by way of submission. And so let's look at it again from another angle. He doesn't even get a chance to tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest at four minutes, two seconds of round number three. For the winner by submission. Well, what a submission win for